Now, Alicia, a little birdie told me something about some television appearances. What's going on with that? <laughs> we uh, we got quite our share of television appearances okay. this year. Um, we were on Cake Boss and as well as Housewives of New Jersey. Um, last fall, um, last October, Kurt and Buddy from the Cake Boss mm -hmm. um, got together and Buddy made a cake for our employees. It was a giant apple orchard <laughs> cake. And I don't know if anyone's seen the episode, but it was literally the biggest cake I had ever seen. Probably the base of it was about the size of this table. Wow. It took four of our employees to move it. <laughs> wow. and, um, but it was delicious. Uh, it, the artisan work on it, the detail was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and it was an apple cake um, that had like bits of apple in it mm -hmm. and then a filling. Um, absolutely delicious. And it was a lot of fun filming it and then of course seeing us all mm -hmm. um, on Cake Boss. And then also in October, the Housewives of New Jersey came mm -hmm. and visited us. Um, they uh, made some comments about the pumpkins on the way in mm -hmm. and uh, ran through our hay tunnel and climbed on the pyramid. And it was a lot of fun to see that. We, we, the farm was very busy that day, so we really didn't get to interact too much with them, mm -hmm. which maybe was fun too because they got to enjoy the farm and see it in uh, peak season. Good. So. Did you have any of that pie? Um, well, I wanted to say the funny thing about that is I received calls every time they were on TV. I would get calls from either a friend or a relative saying, hey, I saw your farmer on television. <laughs> You're famous. Allstead Farms is on TV. They associated that with yeah. me. Even this year we had a customer that reminded us that we were on TV, on the yeah. tailgates, on the market. So. Yeah. Did anybody else get to eat some of that or no? No. But was that for a party for the employees, I heard? Right. Or? It was yeah. for the end of the season because mm -hmm. uh, September and October can be uh, pretty wild. It's yeah. a lot of fun. <laughs> that was nice of Kurt to do that. Yes, it was a great time. And yeah. Very, very yummy, too. Now, Tomas, you mentioned maybe 18 different markets or whatever. So how early do you have to leave in the morning to get to these markets? Sometimes it's very <coughs> early, especially Tuesday. It's a very early day because we have a Milburn market, which starts at 8 o'clock. We depart, the departure time for our truck uh, at Allstate Farm is 5 o'clock, which means for some people they have to get up at, wake up at 4, so, and some of them at, at 3 o'clock. So sometimes it is very early. We have some afternoon markets that start at 2, which means the departure time is 11, which is much better. But Tuesday, when also the Elizabeth Farm and Mar Farmer's Market is open, it's a very busy day and early day. So you don't have much of a nightlife. You have to be home in bed to get up exactly. early in the morning. <coughs> exactly. Especially I'm driving a lot, so okay. I have to be okay. ready. Well, sit tight. We're going to take a brief break, and we'll be back to ask some more questions to you guys, right? Okay. All right. All right. We'll be back in the second half of our city after these words. Thank you. Welcome back to the second half of our city. Today we're discussing the Elizabeth Farmer's Market, and uh, we have some great folks here. Now, Dave, the grand opening coming up. What, what do we have special this year? Uh, we have an exciting day tomorrow. It's uh, well, it's Tuesday, June 29th at 11 a.m., which is the, our opening day. Uh, we have Mayor Chris Bowich uh, going to be in attendance. We have the Secretary of Agriculture uh, planned, planning on coming. We have Diane Limbacher from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Services. Um, we have the Rutgers Cooperative Extension, and they're going to be on hand providing their free strawberry smoothies with mm. the fresh strawberries from Allstead Farms. And for the seniors, we have the Union County Division on Aging, and they're going to have a booth, and they'll be doing voucher distribution. So this year it's two checks of $10, which is a total of 20 It's down mm -hmm. 10 from last year because of the cuts. And I just wanted to mention that seniors need to bring, to be eligible, a uh, valid driver's license, proof of Union County, County residents, and uh, proof of income if they're a single of 20000 and less, and if they're married, 26955 and less. Okay. So it's, they have to bring this proof to get their voucher tomorrow. A lot of times seniors come and they just expect to get their voucher, but they have to show right. uh, this. And uh, we're going to have music tomorrow. We'll have some, some children entertainment, some giveaways, and it uh, should be a good time. Now, there's some new things happening over at the office. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not new, new things happening. We have a new office. Okay. And uh, we moved from, we, our original office was at 1086 Elizabeth Avenue, which was the gateway to the district. Right. And we have since moved to the heart of the district, 815 Elizabeth Avenue, actually above Amigo Chicken, which is mm -hmm. now Amigo Fish. <laughs> and uh, we're in the heart of the district. It's centrally located. I have a, it's, we're on the second floor. Uh, I have a window overlooking Union Square <laughs> Plaza, which most of our events are held throughout the year. So instead of standing at the farmer's market and roasting, I could sit in my office and look out <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not there, you know. And um, it's, it's, it's great. It's great for our events. It's great for transport of materials and, 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 and helping us with our events. So 
Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> now, Alicia, how, how long does the market run? It runs um, every Tuesday uh, from now through November, through Thanksgiving, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Through it's Thanksgiving. The, uh, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I think it's November 29th this year. Right. And Tomas, what, what is the most enjoyable part about the market for you? Not just about the market, but all about the Allstate Farm. I like especially the community, the people that are working for Allstate Farm. Mm -hmm. I have friends from Guatemala, Honduras, Bulgarian, Czechs, Slovaks. It's, it's very exciting to be with them, to know how they live over there where they, where they are from. And I like, I like the, this place and I like to come to the United States. Now, detecting an accent you're from? From Slovakia. Can you count the 10 in Slovakia? Yes, I can. Jeden, <laughs> jeden, dva, tri, štyri, peť, šest, sedem, osem, devet, desať. Now, besides English, is it another language you count the or no? That's it. Uh, I speak English, but also my first language originally was German. Okay. But uh, I'm coming to United States, so I don't practice German enough, so I'm forgetting it. But I can speak also German. Spanish? Spanish just poquito because <laughs> <laughs> I needed, uh, especially in Elizabeth, there are some Spanish people that, uh, that they like when you talk to them Spanish. So we have to have some basic. But I would love to learn Spanish, but I graduated last, uh, last month in Prague, so now I have a little bit more time, so I hope I can start with it. You're doing well. <laughs> now I understand you have an organic line. We're starting an organic line this year, and we are waiting um, final certification from mm. the New Jersey Department of Agriculture. So as soon as we get the paperwork, we will have um, organic produce available for sale in our market, as well as going mm. to some of the tailgates. And we're very excited to be able to offer this choice to our customers. Um, you know, we, uh, we pride ourselves in growing mm. things naturally and using as many um, natural uh, ways of um, fertili fertilization mm -hmm. and um, pest management, um, but we're, we're really looking forward to our organic line, so. So are we. <laughs> <laughs> now Dave, the streetscape is underway. How's that going and what is it expected to be It's going well, it's going real well. Um, it, it's, they're halfway done and uh, they're expected to be complete probably September, October. We're really hoping that they're done before the holidays, barring any weather and catastrophe. But uh, it's really, it looks really nice. Uh, you guys will see it tomorrow when you come in. Um, it's from Spring to Smith, Smith mm -hmm. Street, and from High Street to Sixth Street. So right now they're on the odd side of the street. And uh, you'll see it's, it's an old world antique style mm -hmm. with uh, kind of antique shading and, and, and darker reds for the brick. And uh, we like it so far and the merchants are happy. They're getting new curbs and sidewalks right. and, and lighting and all kinds of nice improvements. They do a lot of interesting things down there. One of the most memorable for me is the Tour de Elizabeth, the bike mm -hmm. tour. How did that go this year for you? Oh, it was great. This was the, uh, the seventh annual Tour de Elizabeth, and it was uh, actually Groundwork Elizabeth sponsors that. Mm -hmm. We're a co-sponsor. But being that our office is centrally, lo centrally located, we store a lot of stuff in our office, and we're like a main host for the event. Um, this year they had about nearly 500 riders, mm -hmm. and uh, we feel it was the best one to date. We changed the route. Uh, we added the waterfront, which we had the year before. Uh, the uh, Jersey Gardens Mall, um, the, around the Carteret Park, Elmora, you know, we covered right. the both business districts. And uh, I think it was the best route yet. We had a historic reenactment at mm -hmm. Union Square Plaza. And it was a reenactment of the um, celebrating the Battle of 1780 on Elizabeth Avenue right. when uh, British troops came from the port. 5,000 British troops marched up Elizabeth Avenue, and 15 brave Elizabeth Minutemen. Uh, backpedaled and held them off just in time for mm -hmm. George Washington and his Continental Army to come over from Springfield mm -hmm. and defeat the British. So they had a reenactment after the Tour de Elizabeth, which was really popular. Now, I know you're going to do the, you got the farmer's market, you did the Tour de Elizabeth, you had the first tree lighting every year in the city. Mm -hmm. so That's you, right. You're a busy person over there. Yeah, yeah, especially right across from our new office. <laughs>